Hi guys, it's Ben here, back again with another preview for another Liverpool football match. We have to get back on track. It's been an absolutely depressing couple of weeks. We've just played four games and not won any of them, so none of us are in a particularly good place. We're still all feeling depressed about the fact we haven't brought in a good centre-back, and all the old issues are still coming back. A lot of people are calling for Klopp's head, or you know, a small portion of, of our fan base are doing that anyway. I know it's only the minority, but it seems like the majority when you're reading through YouTube comments and looking at Twitter and stuff, and you're actually seeing these opinions, which to me are just crazy. Um, the, the Klopp out suggestions for me, just sort of give my opinion on those. Um, look, players wouldn't want to come to this club if it wasn't for him. The, the, the pool we have, I know we haven't necessarily signed the players we wanted to, but Van Dijk wanted to come, Lamar wanted to come, players, elite players, do want to come and play for this manager. And he's a manager that turned us around. He's a manager that came in after Brendan Rodgers was sacked uh, and we had a team that was loitering at mid-table where there was no real belief or confidence in that squad. We got two cup finals that year. Last season, OK, we weren't perfect, but we got 76 points. It's a really decent points total. We were in a title race up until sort of December and then particularly January when Mane left and Coutinho got injured um, just before that as well. The injuries really started to rack up. Everything went wrong, but we, we rebuilt. Um, we, we sort of changed our tactics a bit. We got top four. That was a good, solid season. And we're looking to build on that this season. It's not going well at the moment. We haven't brought in the players we needed to in the summer, and that's a mistake by Jurgen Klopp as much as it is the board and everyone else that everyone complains about and I've had my complaints as well I'm very very annoyed that we did not sign a centre back and another attacker too maybe even a midfielder but we've left ourselves short our squad is way too thin uh, I think Klopp probably even realises that now I don't agree with his approach of only sign better than what you've got or it's either that or he just overrates Lovren and Matip and Clavin too much um, I think all those guys are being exposed at the moment uh, Matip and Lovren both doubts for this game so I mean their fitness issues if, if their ability isn't bad enough and their fitness issues are bad enough. That's something that's always been a problem for those those two guys since they've been at the club. So we are going to be stuck with a Clavin and Gomez partnership on Saturday going into Leicester, which is pretty much a must-win game. So I mean that, as we all know, is just a ridiculous error not to sign a centre back, and that is one of Klopp's biggest mistakes. If if it is indeed solely his decision not to not to settle for a Maguire or an Evans or, or someone that might have just come in for a, for a season or two and, and been okay, low, lower risk than Van Dijk of course, lesser fee and you know maybe we'll go back in for Van Dijk in January and maybe we had that assurance from Southampton that this winter or in the summer next year we will get our man just like we have with Naby Keita. Maybe it is a case of just long term planning and if this season's a write off or if this season's one we might have to sacrifice and look to maybe finish top four again rather than challenge for the league. Then I guess we have to trust Klopp that patience will be worth it. I mean, Keita is going to come in next summer. The long-term planning is there. A lot of youngsters coming through. Trent, Gomez, obviously Woodburn. Andy Robertson's been signed. He's got plenty in him. Uh, the young keeper, Karius. There's a lot, a lot of talent in here that can progress, we can build on. It is going to take time. I hate the fact that it does. I'm so frustrated that it does because I think this season was a good opportunity to, you know, maybe capitalise on some other teams' uh, failures or instability or you know changeover of players. Um, but it looks like the Manchester clubs are going to pull away. Um, Chelsea, one of the teams I thought we could capitalise on, a bit of uncertainty there. The Costa leaving. Um, Arsenal, of course, in disarray there too. Spurs moving to Wembley. It could have been an opportunity for us to compete with the Manchester clubs. Uh, and there still might be an opportunity for that. But at the moment, it's looking very bleak. We've just lost two down to Leicester. I was there. It was depressing. It was horrible. Um, the away end was in, you know, emptying rapidly after I went to 2-0. And understandably so. But looking ahead to Saturday, again, we're playing Leicester away. If we look at the team that we're likely to set out with, I mean, Mignolet will come back in goal. Um, we're plagued with injuries at the back. I mean, we're plagued with injuries all throughout our score. We always seem to be. It was the case last season. Um, so Trent, um, Gomez, Clavin, and then at left back, I think Moreno will come back in. I did, for some reason, Klopp just seems to like him at the moment, as, a, as opposed to Robertson, which is maybe only a short-term thing, but Moreno will probably, probably play here with Robertson playing in midweek. Um, Henderson had a bad game in midweek. I think he, I, th I thought he was due arrest uh, for a while. He, he obviously, uh, it's just not, it's just not happening for him. Um, it's a, it's a concerning one. A lot of the fans are disgruntled. I think he might sit out this one. Emre Chan has been past fit, so I think he should play in the six. I want to see James Milner back in. I do think we need a leader in there in midfield. And then I think Coutinho will play alongside those guys. And then up front, Salah on the right. And then Sturridge on the left or up top with Firmino up there too uh, as a 4-3-3. 
that's what I think the team's going to be. Uh, the bench won't be particularly strong with all the injuries, so, you know, Oxley Chamberlain will be on there. Um, Solanke, I guess, you know, we'll, Obviously, plenty, plenty of other options there, but as for as for strikers, it's not looking particularly promising. So the guys that are on the pitch, they're going to have to do the job. My confidence is low going into this one. Um, I've been I've been in a good mood all season, re a good mood in terms of predictions most of the season. I thought we, we were going to dig ourselves out against Sevilla and against Burnley and even against Leicester in the cup. I've, I was wrong with all those predictions. We failed to win any of those games. I even thought we'd beat City, and obviously that was massively wrong so this one I am actually I don't want to become a depressing guy a depressing channel or anything but the way things are going I don't think this is the week in which we're going to quite turn it around I think maybe we're going to go to Moscow and get a result but here I think it's going to be a similar sort of game I like Leicester as a sign I like Jamie Vardy a lot he's obviously going to come back in here alongside maybe Slomani Okazaki was great in midweek so they've got good options up front um, Damari Gray on the left hand side as well is going to cause problems in Didi in midfield um, they're by no means you know, an easy side to go and beat away from home. So I think they are going to just get the better of us here. And it's a very rare thing for me to predict Liverpool to lose. I do think we are going to just be shaded here 2-0 again. Um, I just can't see the pattern of the game being any different to Wednesday. Uh, Tuesday, rather. Um, yeah, I, <laughs> I'm not in a good place with it. But, you know, I'm, I'm going to be there supporting the team, of course. Um, I'm still excited for it. <sighs> Guys... Can we get out of this hole? Can we get out of this hole that we find ourselves in? Let me know your thoughts. Let me know your predictions. Let me know what your thoughts on Jürgen Klopp is. And, you know, the suggestions of Klopp out that I'm seeing on social media, is that absolute nonsense? Or do you think he should be given the axe this point early on in this season? Hope you enjoyed the video, guys. Please do subscribe to my channel for all this sort of stuff. Drop a like, share the video for me, and follow my other socials too. It's Ben Might Say on Twitter, Instagram, Snapchat, and Facebook. See you next time.